Hey guys, it's Mr. Wachowski. And Ms. Brand. From Central Group Area Student Services Office. Mr. Wachowski, do you know what time it is? Uh, no, what time is it? Registration time! Yay! Woo! <laughs> Today we're going to talk about the school year 2017-2018 registration. What are you receiving today in your registration packet? In this packet, you will have included your PowerSchool login information, an unofficial transcript, your registration information, which is the white folder, the career cluster sheet, that is the blue piece of paper, the AP form, the green piece of paper, the AP and optimal academic rigor in high school, that's the back of the green form, the blended and academic waiver, which is the pink form, and the four-year high school plan, which is the yellow form. Who is my counselor and who is the team in student services? In this picture, from left to right, we have Ms. Laxton, who is the counseling intern, Ms. Grahofsky, otherwise known as Ms. G, who's our registrar, Mrs. Gala, who's the graduation coach, Mr. Wachowski, department chair and counselor for the last names Q through Z, Myself, Ms. Brand, counselor for the last names K through P. Mrs. Felker, the counselor for the last names A through C. And Ms. Martin, counselor for the last names D through J. Okay, guys, now I want to direct you to the registration website where you will find lots of information. You'll find this video, uh, some forms that you may need, lots of information, and an application to the yearbook class. Okay, from the main website at Central Cabarrus, if you go under Academics and scroll down to Student Services, this is where you're going to find the registration website and all the information about registration. So we're going to go there, and you can find it in one of two places. It's right here on the front page of Student Services, or over on the left-hand uh, toolbar, you can click there as well. Okay, so I want to highlight some information that's on our website. Um, the front page has information and this video will actually be on the front page of student services. Um, there is on the left hand toolbar uh, contact us information. There's more information about some courses at Central Cabarrus. There's a timeline. I want to show you that. So if you have any questions about uh, upcoming dates and events that are happening, things you need to pay attention to, there is in the timeline lots of information about those. Under the course guide is where you can find uh, information about any particular course. So if you were looking for uh, a description of a particular course or maybe a prerequisite that tells you the class you need to take before, before a class, you would look on this Google Doc uh, link here. And I would encourage you, because it's very long, to use Control F to find uh, information about a course in this course guide. The next um, button in the toolbar is graduation requirements. I'm not going to go through this very uh, far, but it does list for you all of the graduation requirements to get a diploma from Cabarrus County Schools. The next button is registration documents. So everything you received in your, in your packet in second period today is on this registration documents page as well as some other information I do want to show you real quick. Uh, here is the yearbook application under applications. Uh, down toward the bottom if you're interested in, in maybe one of these AP classes or uh, 20th Century Civil Rights is a new class to Central Cabarrus next year, you could find a flyer with more information about any of these classes. And then lastly on the, the registration website is uh, registration videos. This video will be on here as well. Uh, as well as some other sh shorter videos. Maybe you're wondering about English classes or math or science or so on uh, and the sequence of classes that you would take. Uh, there's going to be lots of videos. So check back uh, for those videos on our registration website as well as all the other information that's in there. If you are interested in taking an AP class, this sheet, the green sheet, needs to be completed with the course name the teacher recommendation, so if you are looking to take AP U.S. History, you would need to get your civics and economics teacher to sign, your signature, and a parent's signature. This is required in order to take an AP class. 
If you sign up for an AP class and do not return this form to your counselor, you will be removed from the class. Ever thought about taking a blended class? These classes are where you will be on campus every other day taking the course, and on the opposite days, you'll either be in a computer lab working on the class, or you'll be at home on your own working on it. The following classes are eligible for blended learning. Honors English 4, Spanish 1, Honors American History 2, Honors Spanish 3, and Honors Spanish 4. This form is also required if you intend to take a blended course. Please make sure that you write the course name, get your current teacher's signature, so if you are interested in Honors English 4, your English 3 teacher is the one to sign off on it, your signature, and your parent's signature. If you do not return this form to your counselor, we will remove you from the class. The Academic Waiver Form. This may be a little unfamiliar to some of you. This is for a student who is interested in taking an Honors or AP course that may not have met the prerequisite for the grade for the following course. If you are interested in taking Honors English 4, ideally you would be in Honors English 3, maintaining an 80% or better, or in Standard English 3, maintaining a 90% or better. If you are in Standard English 3 and wish to take Honors English 4 and you have a 76% as an example, this is the form that would need to be filled out by you and your parent. This makes the parent understand that you do not have the prerequisite, but you are interested in taking the course and understand the rigor that will be asked of you. If you do not return this form, you will not be placed in that class. So this year, every student will make their course requests for registration online in PowerSchool. Every student in second period today will receive their PowerSchool login information and will direct you to go to the Central Cabarrus website and log in to PowerSchool to make those course requests. The PowerSchool login link can be found in multiple places on the Central Cabarrus website. It's on the front page of the website, it's also on Student Services, and it's on the registration website. So as I said, every student gets their login information, their username, and their password today. And PowerSchool will be open tomorrow. I'm sorry, February 1st. It'll be open so that every student needs or must go into PowerSchool to make all of their course requests uh, for next year's classes. Now, I do actually have a video that tells you how to and, and actually walks you through every step of making your course requests in PowerSchool. So if you need some help with that, uh, you can find it in a video. Students, please note that counselors will be available in the Media Center during third period from February 1st to February 8th during that registration time. So if you need any help uh, logging into PowerSchool or making your course requests, or maybe you don't have a computer uh, readily available to you, you can come in uh, during that time in third period and you can get some help from a counselor. Okay, so the following slides are some frequently asked questions that we get from students during registration. The most commonly asked question is how do I get to the next grade? Ninth to tenth grade, you need to earn a total of six courses in any class. Tenth to eleventh grade, a total of 13 courses, 11th to 12th grade, a total of 19 courses, and most importantly, a total of 27 courses passed in order to graduate. Foreign language. This is a tricky one. Do you need it in order to graduate high school? No, you do not. Do you need it to attend a four-year college? Yes, you do. We have two options for foreign language at Central Cabarrus High School, Chinese and Spanish. And for those of you that are Spanish native speakers, we do also offer Spanish Native Speakers 1 and Native Speakers 2. Every student graduating from a Cabarrus County School must complete something called a cluster. A cluster is a group of four classes around a subject area. I'm going to give you an example, but these are the type of clusters at Central Cabarrus. We have Career and Technical, Fine Arts, ROTC, and world language. Here's just one example of a cluster at Central Cabarrus. Now if you have questions about what 
clusters that we offer, remember that in second period today, you're receiving a cluster chart that lists all of the clusters available and all of the classes in those clusters. So here's just an example. Probably our most popular cluster at Central Cabarrus is what's called Agriculture, Foods, and Natural Resources. And this is an example, just one example, of how you, a student might complete this cluster. Agri-Science Applications, Animal Science 1, Principles of Business and Finance, and lastly, Animal Science 2. And you'll notice that it has a star next to it. Every cluster must contain a one second level class to complete it. So this example is Animal Science 2. So you remember that I mentioned that ROTC is a cluster. So I want to talk about something about ROTC and PE or phys ed classes. And the question that often comes up from students, is PE a cluster? Well, the answer is no. So I want to give you an example. With ROTC, to complete that cluster, you could do ROTC 1, 2, 3, 4, and that, that would finish your cluster. Or you could do 1, 2, 3, and this is the only cluster that you will find that you can use a PE class, whether it's advanced PE, modern fitness, weight training, strength and conditioning, but you could use a PE class to complete your ROTC cluster, but PE is not a cluster in itself. Schedule changes. There will be two opportunities to change your schedule. Once we have completed the registration process, we will give you a confirmation sheet. This will show you your top eight course selections and then your backup classes. That is your first opportunity to cross off a class and write another class in its place. Your second opportunity is to do the online portal. This opens on May 4th and closes on May 18th. This will be your last chance to change the class schedule. Schedule changes happen during the year only by administrative error. Example, if you had Spanish 2 in the fall and Spanish 1 in the spring. The other would be if you fail the class in the fall and need to repeat it in the springtime. No other changes will be accepted. Alternate classes or backup classes. These are the four classes that are your second choice classes. Please, please understand you have a 98% chance of getting these classes, so please pick carefully. We understand that if you take these classes, there will be no changes to your schedule because they are your backup classes. So once again, guys, please choose carefully. I want to take a moment and talk about flexing and flex requests. Seniors have the privilege of flexing classes uh, and maybe not having a first period class or fourth period class or maybe finishing all their classes in the fall and being what's called a January graduate. Um, but seniors must, at registration, sign up for eight classes and not flex. And later, on May 26, flex applications will be available in guidance or student services, and seniors can come and fill out a flex application that must be signed by a parent, return it to their counselor, and then their counselor will go through their schedule, and they will add the flex courses as the senior requests. All right, guys, so what are we going to do now? Your registration packet and your plan for course selections are in your hand. Get online, start filling out your classes, start talking to your teachers about those AP courses and blended classes, get recommendations for anybody that needs a recommendation, and most importantly, all online class selection is due by February 8th. If you do not turn it in by February 8th, the counselor will pick your courses for you, will not meet with you, and there are no opportunities for a schedule change. So please don't have that happen. We don't want to be those people to make your class selections for you, but we promise you, we will. Thanks, guys, and happy class selection hunting. Bye, guys.